Hey guys, come with me to a Mexican restaurant. So, on this day, I decided to visit a Mexican restaurant because I've never had a proper Mexican food. Even though I'm not really a fan, my fave is still Chinese. But, first up, I stopped at a Walmart for grocery shopping because definitely I needed to restock. So, here I was gradually cut walking into Walmart to pick up a few items for my house. I was on an aisle, had already picked up a few more stuff, things I needed, not unnecessary things, you know. At this point, one has to count, use his tongue to count, use her tongue to count her teeth because money is not easy to come by. So I picked a few things and was yet to make a decision about what next to pick. I didn't want to just speak any nonsense because you know what it is. Anyway, I got to the vegetable aisle and here my favorite veggies were staring right back at me. Broccoli, kale, oh my god. Whenever I find myself in veggies section, I tend to lose my cool. I love veggies because they make up part of our diet. Broccoli is one of my fave and kill because they're very very beneficial to my body and to my skin and to my reproductive organs. It's very necessary for every woman to actually indulge in, have veggies, okay? But I decided it was cabbage, but I didn't feel like having cabbage, so I just got only kale and broccoli. And voila, Abuelo's Mexican restaurant, the famous one. And I love the ambience and entering, I was like, wow, okay, okay, this is impressive to be honest because. Ever since I came into the U.S., I mostly visit Chinese restaurant or Chinese buffet. It's mostly Chinese food I love. So that's where I get stuck in. So this is the menu I was yet to make. I didn't want to try this. I, I love pasta, yeah, but I just felt like, let me just do Mexican, Mexican. So while waiting for my order, they got um, some chips and some stuff to just keep us waiting. You know? They have to prep the food from scratch and all of that so it takes a long time to actually get ready so the customer service is top notch right I'd, i was waiting for my drink and my chips you know what hunger can do it can make something that doesn't taste good on an ordinary day taste really good my drink came along first time i was having peach lemonade peach lemonade is bomb to be honest i've not had that food in my life this is the first time i was actually tasting real peach and Peach with lemonade is a very bad combination. Like it is, it's awesome. It's given. Finally, the food came. Wow. If I ordered fajito or fajito. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a Mexican. And this is all that came along with it. There was rice, beans, avocado, mashed avocado with tomatoes, cheese, and I don't know what that's. What is? Is it mayonnaise or quick? I don't remember. You know and some steak which is look at it my shrimp my prawns and some green peppers it's a healthy meal uh, yeah so i enjoyed every bit of it but my favorite is still chinese i don't know but there's this thing about chinese food that gets me every time but i love mexican i really 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 want to try out different different cuisines i love food not just like i'm not a heavy eater but i love to try new things i love food food gets me now not to eat i don't eat to i'm not a gluten but i really really have um i don't know how to put it but my cravings are top notch to be honest with you so i really really am curious and trying out different kinds of cuisines because it only not only helps me um embrace and love other culture but it also makes me aware of the blessings that um we have in the world right god created everyone and created every nationality so here i was done i didn't eat some things once i was like the beans i didn't really enjoy it but it was it's cool to those that are it's cool for i had my feel i cleared everything as far as i'm concerned <laughs> so yeah this is it i hope to try another